and right now it have really good flavor. You can have this with rice, you can have this with bread, like dipping, like a dipping sauce. Hi guys, today I'm gonna make stir fried crab with coconut milk. I'm gonna also add glass noodle. Okay, let me show you how I make it. Once you see the cooking oil is hot, you add some shallot, some garlic, minced garlic. On high heat, stir it about 30 seconds. And after that, I have red curry paste. I'm gonna add one tablespoon. That. Keep that a stir. Press it down. Press it down, break down the curry paste. Okay. Once you stir this, maybe about 30 seconds to 40 seconds. After that, you want to add one can of coconut milk. And here I'm going to add lower the heat to low heat. You don't want the coconut milk to splash on you because it's going to be really hot. You can lower the heat to low heat while you add all the other ingredients. Half teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of chicken powder, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of fish sauce. Okay, now you can stir it a bit. I also have this. This one is barbecue sauce. This one is Chinese barbecue sauce. Uh, you can find this type of sauce at the Chinese grocery store. I'm going to add two tablespoons. That. Now we can increase the heat to a high heat, bring this to a boil, but careful, you got to watch because the coconut milk can splash on you and it's going to be really hot. Okay, stir that. I also have some small onion. This one, three small onions sliced into wedges like this. Or you can put one large one. And right after, you don't have to wait until the sauce is boiling because sometimes it can splash, right? Because it starts to boil already. And here I have about one kilogram of clean uh, blue crab. So I clean it. Um, I didn't record it. Clean well and you kind of open up like this. Yeah, just put everything in. Okay, so now we can stir this. It's going to be a bit hard to stir. So the best way to do this, you need a lid and just cover this. Okay, hopefully this is big enough. Okay, I'm going to let this cook and you can set the timer for five minutes for now. And after five minutes, I'm going to come back and stir it from the bottom up. Okay, so after about five minutes, so you come back and I'm just going to stir from the bottom up. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> Ow! Okay. Now I'm going to cover another 10 minutes. So after about 5 more minutes, I come back to stir it. I want to make sure that nothing get burned in the bottom. So stir it every five minutes. I'm just gonna stir it a bit more and cover it again. Wow, this looks good. <laughs> so cover it for five more minutes. Okay, so after you cover it for a total of about 15 minutes, so this should be cooked. Okay, you can scoop some of the sauce, put it on like this. And at this point, if you want to stop it, you can turn off the heat and then add some green onion and that's it. But if you like add some glass noodle, which I'm going to do because I'm going to use the sauce to add glass noodle into it. But right now I'm going to take it out. So you have to make sure that it's cooked before you take it out, right? And right now it has really good flavor. You can have this with rice. You can have this with bread, like dipping, like a dipping sauce. It's like coconut curry um, stir fry. <laughs> so this one, it has like coconut flavor, it has curry, so it's really good. You, I'm gonna lower the heat to uh, low heat for now while I'm taking it out because I don't want it to splash on me. The glass noodle, I soaked two packages, but I may not use all of it. We'll see, let me see. 
You know what? I'm just going to... Wow, that seemed a lot. No, I'm not going to put all of it. It may not soak all the sauce. I soaked two packages, but you can just put one. One should be good. Use two spatula. Just stir it on low heat for now. The flavor will absorb into the glass doodle and make the glass doodle taste really good. So this way you can have glass doodle with this uh, curry crab. Turn it to medium heat. So for the glass noodle, I soak it in really hot water, uh, the tap water. I soak it about 15 minutes. You can stir it until the sauce go evenly into the glass noodle. You can stir it on medium heat about 5 minutes and that should be good. And that's it. After you stir it about 5 minutes, turn off the heat. So just taste the noodle and if the noodle is good, everything else is going to be good. <laughs> really good flavor.